We begin with new information tonight about just how extensively Canada is spying for the United States. How Canada has even gone so far as to set up secret spy posts around the world for the National Security Agency. The explosive revelations are contained in a document leaked by Edward Snowden. And it reveals this Canadian cooperation has been going on for decades. Our Greg Weston has the exclusive details from Ottawa tonight. Greg. Wendy, most people probably don't think of Canada as a world player in espionage. But according to this American document marked top secret, that's exactly what the U.S. is counting on. Canada is not only spying around the world, it often does so at the request of the U.S. National Security Agency. It essentially means it is as close to uh, a working relationship with the NSA as it can possibly have. The word close does not begin to tell this story. The secret document reveals Canada and the U.S. have been running joint spying operations in about 20 countries the NSA calls high priority. Some of those countries are Canada's own trading partners. A super secretive agency called the Communications Security Establishment Canada, or CSEC, gathers intelligence by intercepting phone calls and hacking into data systems. CSEC has been eavesdropping with the NSA for more than 60 years. Now for the first time, this document reveals just how deep and far and wide that relationship has become. The two agencies even swap personnel. According to the secret memo, cooperative efforts include the exchange of liaison officers and integrees, joint projects, shared activities. CSEC has even opened covert sites at the request of NSA. I think this should probably be read as a reference to um, monitoring sites uh, developed largely in embassies and, and counselor missions abroad. And the document goes on. CSEC runs operations in places the NSA can't. CSEC shares with NSA their unique geographic access to areas unavailable to the U.S. And under the cover of those, of those relationships that Canada enjoys and the United States doesn't, guess what you can conduct? these kind of these secret surveillance or collection efforts. Work has a different it. take. But I think we still trade on, on a degree of, of, um, uh, of an international brand as an innocent um, a partner in the international sphere. Uh, there's not that much known really about Canadian intelligence. And uh, in that sense, Canadian operations might escape at least the same degree of notice and surveillance that the operations of the United States or Britain in certain foreign countries would bound to attract. Canada has already been caught. I cannot comment on national security operations. It's that, that was Harper in October, after another Snowden document revealed that CSEC was spying on Brazil. That raised howls of protest in that country. Here, there were questions about who's minding the spies. The latest revelations of Canada's global espionage operations are bound to fuel that debate. And this former NSA executive says that's a good on. thing. You cannot have this amount of secret operations outside the purview of o proper oversight, which little, little, there's little or none of that even within Canada. Wendy is revealing, as this document surely is, it is also packed with operational details that CBC News has decided it will not make public. Is there any reaction to this? Big story, Greg. Well, Wendy, we heard from both governments. Canada's Defence Minister Rob Nicholson, who is responsible for CSEC, pointed out the agency is subject to review by an independent commissioner. In the United States, a spokesman for the government there said NSA collects intelligence the same as every other nation. Thanks so much, Greg. Greg Weston tonight in Ottawa.